This is the subring from Antimatter Audio. It's a five channel oscillator mixer in Eurorack format. Each of the channels has a special feature. So starting with the top channel, channel one is the main input. It is a bipolar input and has a little bit of gain on each side. Uh, input two is an analog sub octave derived from input one. And if you plug something into the input, it takes the place of it in the mix. Input three, same deal, but it's two octaves down and still derived from input one. Input four is a white noise generator and you can defeat it in the mix also. Channel number five is a ring mod. It defaults to being modulation of one times three, but you can also defeat the modulator by plugging in a different modulator. There's a dedicated white noise output and a sum output. So the inspiration for this module is that basically uh, in Eurorack constantly, what I do is just plug in an oscillator directly into a filter. But if you go look at any of your standard synthesizers in the world, they have this nice little oscillator mix section with different inputs for the oscillators and also with sub oscillator noise and ring mod. So I want to recreate that in Euro. So let's give a listen to it. I'm just gonna plug in the sawtooth output from the Richter oscillator into channel one and give it some gain. And then we'll go ahead and bring up one of the sub octaves. by default will just do one times three. In this case, we just have a sub octave. So let's listen to that by itself. But we can go ahead and plug in this other oscillator into it. We'll go ahead and bring the other parts back in. And as we fade back into that original sound, that gets back to what we were dealing with in the beginning before the sub ring. So I think it's very helpful. I use it all the time. Um, you know, it's not a very complex module. It's very simple, very basic in a lot of ways, but it just makes everything sound so thick and wonderful with filters. Um, the sub octaves are of course comparators, so they're always gonna be squarish, um, but they're a lot of fun processing a lot of different things. So. Uh, when I see something that can process, I'm always wondering, well, what does it sound like with a drum machine, for instance? So I'm going to plug in my Volca sample, and let's give a listen real quick. So I've got the Volca sample now plugged into the main input, and I'm going to use the ring mod with the secondary oscillator over here. In theory. Oh, you have to turn it We still have it running through the uh, through the filter over here, so of course the uh, sub octaves are just going to tear up whatever goes through them, but it's wonderful according to what you like.
Well, there you have it. The sub ring, I think it's very useful, very fun. Um, I guess the one thing I didn't cover is that there's a dedicated noise out that is always full noise volume, which is always interesting to add a little bit of texture back to your oscillators or use it wherever you need to. But it's always a shame to have a noise generator and not have a dedicated output for it. And so that is there. You can use it wherever. You could use it with, I don't know, a brain seed and um, use it to add random functions to different inputs on the brain seed, for instance. So anyway, uh, Subring, thank you very much.